Okay, we're on Develop Your Skills 4-4, page 140. In this exercise guide, we'll pay for expenses with both printed and handwritten checks. So click the Write Checks task icon in the banking area. So banking area, Write Checks. Follow these steps to complete the check. Ensure the Print Later box is checked. Okay, so we are, we hit Print Checks. Okay, um, let's make it bigger. It doesn't go bigger, okay. So uh, we are going to just take a look at that right now. Click the Write Checks task icon. So let me just, oh, actually not print the checks. We want to hit Write Checks. There we go. Write Checks. And ensure the Print Later box. Okay, so there it is, Print Later. Good. And then we're going to say pay to the order of Sandy Property Management. Okay, good. We barely type it and it comes up. Put $750. All right, the address is already there. When you click, it puts it in writing. On the memo, you want to put rent for January 2015. Okay, and then we have. Um, the expense is seven fifty. Okay, sixty-seven hundred rent. And we have the dollar amount. So we're gonna say uh, save and new. Okay, so this is we wrote a check. We're gonna print it later. The check is to Sandy Property in the amount of seven hundred and fifty dollars for rent. So we're gonna do save and new. The next one we're gonna do is record a handwritten check. Okay, we might not always be at our computer when we want to write a check. So in this situation, Guy has taken his checkbook shopping and needs to record the handwritten check. So what we do is click to remove the check mark from the print later box. Okay. And um, follow these steps to record the handwritten check. So tap tab. Okay. And then type 1248. Okay, and then we're going to make the date be 1230, and then pay to the order of Bayshore Cafe, Cafe, okay, and then we're going to put 37, oops, quick add, sure, we'll do quick add because it's not in our list. And it is a vendor, because we're writing a check to a vendor. So that is fine. And then we are going to put the dollar amount, 37.49. Click out of there, there it goes. Bayshore Cafe, lunch with a client. Sixty-four three hundred. Okay, we're gonna say save and close. Next, print a batch of checks. So once we have indicated that checks are to be printed, we need to issue a separate command to print them. So click the print checks task icon in banking. Print checks. Tap the tab and then type 1249. Click the check mark to the left of Sandy Properties. To deselect it. Okay, so we have two selected and one unselected. So now the first check number is gonna be 1249 and we're gonna print checks for these two things. And then we're gonna hit okay and the print checks window will appear and um, if we choose to be green we can choose to not physically print the checks in the next step by choosing to print a PDF or just preview ensure that voucher is chosen as the check style so let's look and see yep vouchers chosen and then click print 
QuickBooks will display a print checks confirmation window. Here you have the opportunity to reprint any checks that did not print correctly or to troubleshoot. Okay, and then we're going to hit OK. That's the end of the